Hey everyone, welcome back. So another week has gone by. Bitcoin is down, most of the miners are down. We'll take a look at the one miner that is up and then we'll do a video on that one completely separate, just trying to figure out why it's up. Uh, but we'll look at the Bitcoin, comparing it to how the miners did for the week, for the past four weeks and eight weeks. So let's get into the charts here. And we got Bitcoin right now at 46,815. It was obviously down yesterday to, it closed yesterday at 46,166. So we can see, obviously, we've had a rough couple days here, well, a couple weeks, actually, if we look at it. Bitcoin is down from its all-time high right now, from around 69,000, where it was at the peak, all the way down to yesterday, we were down basically 33.93%, and that's been over 38 days, basically, 38 bars, so 37 days, roughly. We can still see that it is... Trending down, RSI is kind of trending up, which is a concern, obviously. We got the 20-day moving average getting close to the 200-day moving average, which is also concerning here. So like I said in yesterday's video, we may fall down to the 44,700 line, roughly, which is our next support line here. And then if that doesn't hold, we're going down basically to 40,000 on the charts here. Now let's take a look at Ethereum really quick. Ethereum right now is battling with our previous support, which is now resistance at 3,950 roughly. And it has also crossed the 20 day and the 50 day moving averages in the last couple of days, but it's still far above the 200 day moving average where, where I think we're gonna be okay um, if we can pull back up above this resistance here. So we'll have to see, obviously, Ethereum is not down as much as Bitcoin is. If we look at the high here that we reached right around here to yesterday's low, we reached basically 23% down, so obviously better than Bitcoin has done in the past, uh, what, 38 days, 37 days, roughly. Okay, so let's take a look at the miners here really quick. So the miners, obviously, DMG is down on the week. Nice, uh, we had a couple updates here, but overall we're down on the week. We're at 60 cents for DMG. Riot is down to 23.24, had a couple of nice days here as well. Uh, two days that it was up, but it's still down for the week. Uh, Mawson is the only exception that I cover right now. It is up um, eight, to 8.63. It has had, what is it, one, two, three, four, five, six days of green days. So we're gonna take a look at Mawson in another video coming up here today, where we're gonna do a little deep dive to see what the heck's going on with them, what the possibilities are that's causing the stock to go up in price. Mara is down to 33.86. It is way down, obviously, as well. It had, it had two nice days here, like the rest of them so far. Hut 8, same, same kind of scenario here. It is down to 7.80 right now. Look at Digihost. Digihost is down, had two days of green, like the rest of them. So everybody's following each other, it looks like, in the price of Bitcoin action as well. So it's down to 356. Hive is down to 259. It had two green days and then Obviously, it finished out the week at 259. And then Clean Spark is at 1171. It was actually up yesterday a little bit uh, compared to the other miners, along with Mawson, but it's still down to 1171. Bit Farms is at 473. It was uh, had one up day and then down here and then up again yesterday a little bit on the candle, but it was still down 3.47% to 473. So let's take a look at. Uh, the numbers here really quick. Let me zoom this in for you guys. All right, so here's where we stand. Here's the current price on all of these, right? So we just went over that. Bitcoin is at, four, uh, Bitcoin's at four, six, 46,166 yesterday. So it was down on the week, basically $1,004, down 2.13%. Bitfarms is at 473, it's down 85 cents or 15.23% on the week. Hive is 259 down 29 cents to 10.07 percent. Hot 8 is at 780, down 98 cents, down 11.16 percent. Marathon at 33.85, down 6.59, down 16.3 percent. Riot at 23.24 is down 276, down 10 percent. Argo, dollar 14. That's in the uh, U.S. Uh, co converted from their pounds, so it's a dollar 14 based on the conversion. So they're down 21 cents or 15 and a half percent. Digihost is at 356, down 54 cents, down basically 13 percent on the week. Clean Spark is at 11.71, down $1.71, down 12.74 percent. Mawson at 8.63, it is up 2.37 cents, 
the only one for the week, it is up 37.8.6%. Uh, that is huge. So we'll look into why it's up so much. Uh, and then DMG is down to 61 cents, down 12 cents, or 16.99%. So if we look on the four-week chart, everybody here is pretty much, yeah, everybody is down. I mean, Bitcoin is down 14%, Bitform is down 33, almost 34, Hive 30%, uh, Hot 8 down 36, uh, Marathon is down 31.20. Riot 3345, Argo 3667, 3296 for Digihost, CleanSpark 32, Boston is down almost 16%, and DMG is down 32%. So nobody has fared better here on the four week chart um, compared to Bitcoin. If we look at the eight week chart, uh, Bitcoin is down 23%, uh, BitFarms is down 7.62%, Hive is down 26%, Hut 8 is down 41%, Marathon is down 35%. Riot is down 14%, and Argo is down 30, almost 32%. Digihost is down 36%, CleanSpark is down 42%, and Mawson is down 15%, and DMG is down 26.1%. So it's been a rough couple of weeks for everybody here, obviously. Um, Bitcoin has gone quite a bit ways down, but some of the other miners have just gone basically double. If you look at it here, 23% for Bitcoin down, but you got Hot 8 is down 41%. Clean Spark is down 42%. And then you got Marathon down 35, Digihost down 36. So, you know, basically almost double what Bitcoin is down. And that's typically what we see is Bitcoin goes down 2%, the miners will go down 5%. So it is what it is. I think the investors are just overreacting on the price. It could be also the tax loss harvesting right now going on for December. And that's causing this. Um, other than that, I mean, we really don't have any FUD anymore. As everything has been kind of cleared up a little bit. Um, you know, the Fed has said that they were going to taper a little bit, uh, and then they're going to possibly in increase interest rates going into next year. But that, I just don't know why everything's falling down. Like I said, just could be just tax loss harvesting. So if we look at it here on this chart here for the weekly, we can see that obviously... Bitcoin so far has done pretty well, uh, and this should be 17%, I believe, if I have this correctly. I don't know why it's coming up as 0 0.7, 0 0.17, so I got a calculator, calculation problem someplace. Let's see if we can edit the chart. Uh, everything is coming up good. Uh, I don't know why it's not showing up as a percentage. Okay, I'll take a look at it later on, but it's 17% down. Biggest loser on the week was Marathon at 16.3%, followed by probably Argo, or actually DMG would be the biggest uh, loser there, down 17% roughly, then Marathon, then Argo, followed by Bitfarms. Biggest gainer, obviously, Mawson. Like I said, we'll cover Mawson in another video here coming up today. Did some digging into them to see what's causing their price to go up, and we'll get into that as well. And then if we look at the four-week chart, we can see that Bitcoin is down 14%. Biggest loser here would be Argo, down 36.67%, followed by Hot 8, and then possibly Bitfarms, followed by Digihost, and CleanSpark, and DMG. And on the eight-week chart, if we look at it, Bitcoin is down 23.93%. Bitfarms is down the least, so it's fared the best out of all of them. So far, it's down only 7.62% on the eight-week chart. Biggest loser is CleanSpark, down 42.2%, and followed by Hut 8. It's down almost 42% as well. Then followed by Digihost, Marathon, Argo, Hive, and DMG. So obviously, not good. Uh, we'll have to see how this plays out. Obviously, we're in December. Like I said, we may just have uh, tax loss harvesting right now going on with all the cryptos and the mining stocks and regular stocks. Market is down overall. So that might be just going on right now. Hopefully, once we get past this month, we may start bouncing back up. But we still have, I think, a little bit of pain to go before we get there. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe. Uh, hit the notification bell. Helps me out a lot. That's all I ask from you guys. Have a wonderful day. Like I said, uh, the video on Moss will be coming out later on today. Hope you guys enjoy that one. I think there's some interesting things going on there. All right. That's all I got for you guys. Have a great day. See you in the next one.